DeWalt 100 foot metal tape measure product review for you guys. If you're considering picking one of these up, you have some thoughts and questions uh, on it, do you think it might be a good fit for you? Stick around in this quick video. I'll give you my thoughts while I try it out for the first time. The good and the bad compared to my old one. And I'll give you a quick peek of my old one and why I got a new one. This is from Amazon, one day shipping for me. Um, if it's something you think you might need, check out the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link, but at no additional cost to you, it may or may not help support the channel here. So. Let's get into my old one real quick. And the biggest downfall to this one, why I'm getting rid of it, is because, well, there's two things I hate with this thing. This is like a vinyl or it, it's some sort of, it's not metal. So when you're winding it in on top of it getting stuck and jammed, it twists over and winds in on itself and gets jammed. It, it's falling apart on me. Uh, the slow crank too. So when you, let me put the GoPro on my head here. When you're trying to crank it in, you're winding and winding and winding and you're barely walking. It just takes forever. Then this thing broke on me while winding it in. It's just, it gets frustrating. So the two downsides, this and what's happening to it, it'll get twisted over and wound in and then stuck and jammed in here like this. And you gotta pull and fight it. It's just, it's, it's past its day. This one form factor is a much smaller. It has a little clip carabiner D-ringy thing here. You can clip onto your, your belt, it's small enough to fit in your pouch. Two of the biggest things that I like about this is this is metal. So it's not gonna twist over and wind in on itself. So that's massive, that's huge, I like it. Uh, it's gonna hold up a lot better. The other big factor is it winds in so much quicker. There's a gear ratio in here. So looking at the angle of this, we're gonna pull to get that to do one revolution. And we've gone around four feet. So uh, like a four to one, one crank, four feet. You're gonna wind in a lot quicker. So when you're doing a lot of measurements and things, you're not walking really slow and cranking away on it. So let me go throw this in the back of the truck and we'll do a quick use of this for the first time on this property here. Yeah, this thing's honestly, it's, it's junk. I forgot my uh, stake for this new one though. So I'm gonna use a screwdriver temporarily today because I just got it. This is, for the most part, rectangle. We're gonna go through real quick and just kind of look down this side. There's some divots and some extensions. For the most part, they're gonna average out to right down the edge here. So you can stick it to your brick and walk down and out. I like to just, well, if you do that, you're gonna have to add in your overhangs. I like to just look down the gutter where the fascia board would be, stick this in the ground and measure it out. So when you're pulling, it'll wind out or you can press this button and pull it out. So you can do this pretty nice feature we're gonna get the depth here looking down this gutter edge here we're at uh, 66 foot looking down the end so we'll remember that now right here is the biggest thing man I can walk full speed and my hand is barely moving I felt like I was just really goofy looking prior to getting this where you're cranking away and you're walking real slow at a snail's pace. Hopefully the GoPro is getting the roof end view there. All right, so looking down this backside, we're gonna line up right here, looking down. Now, if you were to hook it on the building, you're gonna have to go around the landscaping and things. It's just gonna be a pain. You might end up in water in a pond like that. So the good thing of not hooking it on your, your wall, your house, and then accounting for your overhang, you just back up to where you got a straight look through where you're going to go. Line up down this face here. Stick that in the ground. I'm eventually going to just tape a, a small rod, like a tent stake to this. But uh, yeah, wind it out. Now our width is going to be depth times width. We'll get you your square area. 79. Uh, 79 66 by 79 look how much faster this goes let's jump in the truck real quick give you what i like dislike well i kind of already went through it and there's a couple other little features i'll go through real fast for you guys I want to look this up if it's something you think you might need so I don't know if I showed this here, but it's got this little clip here that you can hook onto your tool belt, your belt, something, so you can just leave it on you if you do a lot of measuring. Pull it out, wind it, let it drop. Yeah, that's kind of a cool feature I might use it on days I'm doing a lot of estimates or measuring a lot of buildings. There's a dust cover on here, it said, right here. So I imagine over time, letting it drag on the ground, dirty conditions, there's gonna be some debris getting in there, which if you do, you pop this down, 
and you can shake it out and get it out of there. It's also got a traditional clip here that you can use for your tool belt or belt. You can wind that up and fold it over to lock it. It's got this to hook on things as well as this hole, which honestly that's what I do is tape a stake through it so I can just stick it in the ground and go. Uh, yeah, so the metal is gonna hold up really good with this. It's not gonna twist and get jammed in there when you wind it in. It is getting hot in here. It's a warm day today. Um, and the gear ratio, the gear ratio is amazing. That's honestly my opinion. Five out of five stars between those two features right there. So yeah, I like it. I'm gonna use a lot. It just came today. Like I said, Amazon affiliate link, link down below in the description. If it's something you think you might need, please check it out. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brian with Grand Roofing. If you uh, like the content, if you could give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing, ring the bell notification so you're notified when there's future post videos for product reviews, how to measure DIY roof repairs, anything roof related really for that fact. Uh, yeah, so until next time, be safe. We'll see you on the next one.